Hello guys, it is not so epic dude here. Um, today I'm going to be talking about the history and impact of Hey Arnold, the TV show. Um, I'm going to be talking about kind of how I got into the show, on top of just some of the history and show, and like stuff about the show. Um, so today is a really important day. Today is the day that Hey Arnold, the Jungle Movie is finally going to be coming out after like over 15 years of like development and cancellation. It hasn't been in development for 15 years, but you know, it was like, it was canceled and brought back. I'm gonna be talking about that a little bit later though. So, I got into the show a lot later, because I'm a lot younger than most of the viewers, probably. Um, I got into the show around 2012 actually, when they were airing it on the 90s or all that, now called The Splat. Um, like, <laughs> I don't know, I just, I kind of started watching it one night, and I got really into a lot of old Nickelodeon shows, and Hey Arnold was probably the one that stuck the most to me. Like, I already knew about it before. Like, I'm not, I'm not that young. Like, I still knew about, like, Rugrats, and CatDog, and, like, all that, but I wasn't a huge fan of them until I really saw it on that network. Or Block, rather. Um, so yeah, that was when it was aired, that was when it was, like, um, on Netflix, and I watched it on there. And I just loved it. After that, I didn't really, like, watch it. Because, you know, I was going through show by show. But, you know, that one was just really my favorite of the bunch. And, so, yeah. Like, and then in 2015, it was announced... Like, there were actually a lot of rumors throughout 2015 and before then, too. That, like, the, the Jungle movie was, like, finally going to be announced or coming out soon. Like, when I first watched it, I knew about the Jungle movie being a thing. And once I finished the show with the journal, I was like, wow, that's a cliffhanger, and then there wasn't anything after it, so it's like, it, you need something there, and I'm sure it bothered a lot of other people even more, because people that grew up with the show, and saw that ending in 2002, and then it's just, you know? Um, so yeah, the show aired for five seasons, over the course of 100 episodes exactly, that's like perfect. And then it had a theatrical movie, which is actually part of a huge part of like the cancelization for the Jungle movie. But we'll get to that. So Hey Arnold actually went through a pretty weird cycle. It didn't just start off as a Nickelodeon show. It actually started on Pee Wee's Playhouse back in 1987. There were a bunch of, or actually a few, like claymation cutaways about a character named Penny and her friend Arnold. And I think Penny was like the old name for Helga. Not 100% sure on that, but it seemed like the... Because, like, the the shorts only had three characters. It was Arnold, Penny, also named Helga now, and then Harold. So, Penny was probably here, or Helga. <laughs> so, I think there were two on Pee Wee's Playhouse, and then there was one later on Sesame Street in 1991. And then, I think around that time... Craig Barlett, the creator, was also doing, like, comics based off of the Arnold character. Um, yeah, I think in, like, the Simpsons Illustrated magazine, because, like, he had a connection with Matt Groening. Still does. I think he's, like, his brother-in-law. Yeah, I think that's right. And so, yeah. And then a pilot was released, like, a ten-minute pilot episode titled Arnold was shown in theaters a few years later, like 1996, and that was before Harriet the Spy. Like, in theaters, it would be, like, a short before Harriet the Spy. And I think that's already when the show was kind of confirmed to come out, because that was in 1996, and the show started in 1996. So they had to be already working on actual seasons and episodes. Which would make sense. What did it come out? Did Harriet the Spy come out? Yeah, Harriet the Spy was 1996. Although, okay, the pilot was made 1984, but it wasn't used until 1996. Got it. Okay, so... Some of my, like, favorite episodes are probably, like... Okay, when I first went through the show, um, my favorite episode was probably the Valentine's Day episode. That's the one where Arnold kind of, like... Okay, so he goes on a date with Ruth, or like, anonymously goes on a date with Ruth, and then 
his like pen pal from France came, and but like it wasn't actually her; it was dressed up as Helga. And that that episode was just really cute because it shows that like Arnold would actually date Helga if she put herself out there and showed her more lovable side, other than her like mean side. So I'm sure we all know the characters. Um, I don't know why I started talking about an episode before the characters. Um, Arnold, the football head. <laughs> and then you have Helga. She's like the one that's obsessed with him. And then Gerald, he's the best friend. And then all the all the school kids. The backyard friends, I guess. <laughs> um, so yeah. Like, this show just had a huge impact on me, honestly. I mean, I was talking about how I didn't watch until more recently, five years ago, and then I was talking about how it took a break, but it's still just like, oh, such a good show. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, one thing that Hey Arnold does really good is like their holiday specials, honestly. Like, their holiday specials are some of the best ones, like some of the best episodes on a show, and that's kind of rare for a cartoon. Like. I can't really think of any other cartoon that does every single one of their holiday specials really, really good. Like, Spongebob has a few really good ones, like, Spongebob's Christmas one is good, then that kind of made all the other ones not as good, I suppose. Um, so, throughout the first four seasons of Hey Arnold or so, I don't really feel like it had as big of a, not plot, but like, they didn't go into as much stuff with the parents until season 5, which was the last season. Um, specifically on the episode Parents' Day, which is probably one of the most important episodes of the show, honestly. Um, especially if you want to understand the Jungle movie when it comes on tonight. Because that episode kind of details the past of the parents, but not as much of, as a later episode would. It was more like... Um, he's trying to like... like... Okay, so like the grandparents are Arnold's, like, parents. Like, they fit the shoes. But, like, Arnold doesn't really see that. He just wants his actual parents there. And that just kind of goes into that. It's a really good episode. It's one of the best ones. And then the one I was mentioning earlier, which was called The Journal, this is the, like, um, last produced episode. And it was designed as, like, a cliffhanger as to the, like, to the original Jungle movie. Which, I don't think it's still a cliffhanger now, since the Jungle movie is also trying to reintroduce the show. I'd imagine it's not anymore. So, the journal was literally about the past, and in the end of the episode, he find Arnold finds a journal. His, his dad's old journal. And that just kind of, you know, he it had a map in it, and it's like, this is the route my dad took when he went on his last trip set to San Lorenzo. And then the show ends there. <laughs> it's so sad, but like, it's it's good that it's coming back. Definitely, like, mm, we almost had the finale, and then yeah. But the question is, how did that get canceled? Like, there's definitely a story to it, and it all kind of started with Rugrats, actually. Uh, so the Rugrats movie came out, or no, the Rugrats was a huge show in the '90s, like. I think it has a Hollywood Star Walk of Fame, or whatever it's called. Um, and then it got a movie, 1985, 1986, 1987, somewhere in that, introducing Dill. And I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong, that hey, uh, uh, Rugrats the movie was like the first non-Disney movie to get like over 10 million or 1 million, 100 million maybe, I don't know, in the box office for like a non-Disney animated movie. I'm pretty sure that's the case. I don't know. I don't know, like, how money... Like, what kind of... You know, money is considered a lot for box office and all. Um... So... Yeah, that was really popular. That was a hugely popular movie. And it introduced Dill. And then at that time, Nickelodeon was like, Hmm... These movies... That movie was really good. Maybe we should start having more of our shows go into the theatrical side of things. So that's when they had Rugrats in Paris, um, the Wild Thornberrys movie, um, Hey Arnold a movie, uh, the Spongebob movie, it's another one. They had that Rugrats and Wild Thornberrys crossover. There were supposed to be other ones, like a cat dog movie, I'm pretty sure, and there was supposed to be like an Ariel Monsters one. They, 
Except I think those were cancelled before the, uh, the first Rugrats movie was a thing. I don't know. But, yeah, they were trying to get their shows more into movies. So, when the Hey Arnold movie came out, it was like a pretty... It, was, it bombed pretty big. It didn't do very well in the box office. And, um, at this point, um, Nickelodeon already asked Craig Bartlett to create a pilot, no, pilot, a prequel episode to the second, or to like the real movie, Hey Arnold the Jungle Movie. Because that was supposed to be like the actual theatrical movie. The movie that turned into Hey Arnold the Movie was just supposed to be a TV movie called, Ar called Arnold Saves the Neighborhood. Um, yeah, that movie is really, like, not loved by fans. It features, a, like, a part where Helga finally reveals her love to Arnold, but it just feels really forced, and just, I don't know, a lot of people don't like it. And so, um, what else? That movie's, yeah, that part's actually pretty important, according to Bartlett, because that's where, like, Arnold actually finds out about her love, and it kind of becomes a little bit of a plot point in season five. Like, after the movie ends. Like, in episodes like April Fool's Day, where Arnold, like, kind of, like, um, flirts with Hel uh, Helga. Just kind of playing with her emotions, I guess. <laughs> I don't remember the situation exactly, but I just remember hearing stuff about that. And what else? So, then, around 2002, Nickelodeon wanted to put Craig Bartlett into, like, an exclusive deal. And that would include having the Jungle Movie released. It might even include having more episodes of Arnold, but if the Jungle Movie was supposed to be the finale, then I don't really know how that would pan out. Maybe just him getting a brand new show. But none of that ended up happening because he was working on a pilot for Cartoon Network at the time called Party Wagon, I believe. And so it just kind of fell out, and with that, Hey Arnold the Show and the Jungle Movie fell out too. Because um, the journal was released, and I'm pretty sure it was a pretty big deal when it was being released. And then there were like a few other episodes that were released that aren't in, I mean those aren't in order then because the Jungle Movie was supposed to be the last one and it just kind of died it's really sad though but because it's such a good show and it, I think it was really really popular like what Spongebob and Fairly Odd Parents is slash was because Fairly Odd Parents is over now um, it's kind of like what Rugrats and Hey Arnold was back in the 90s and early 2000s I feel like um, the role of Fairly Odd Parents is kind of being taken over by the Loud House currently, though. Which, speaking of the Loud House, is actually getting a new episode tonight before the Jungle movie. I might be watching that. I'm not a big fan of the Loud House, but it's there, and it's right before the Jungle movie, so might as well, you know, be on the channel to watch it. Um, so, the way that this movie came back is a really good one, and it really shows, like, the importance of the internet and what we can do to make a difference. So... Um, it, like, um, the movie was just kind of ended all of a sudden, 2004. But then, around six years later in 2010, there was, there started to be, like, petitions to bring it back, and a lot of fan interest. Like, there was one, there's a Facebook page called, um, I think it was 100,000 Let's Save the Jungle Movie? Something like that. Uh, that became a thing, and it just, it was to show support for the Jungle Movie, and, you know, to have people, I don't know if they, probably not donate, I think this one followers, that makes sense, what would they donate to anyway, um, so they had that, and there started to be a lot of petitions, like the one I actually heard of and signed was Operation Ruthless, around 2012, 2013, that's the one I saw, and all, and all this like fan mail, and just fan support, just came into like, it just became a huge deal, like a lot of fan art, like, Craig Barlett, he said specifically fan art was another huge deal. Like, when he was... He actually, like, pitched the show back to Nickelodeon. Like, the movie back to Nickelodeon. Probably 2015. Or 2014, maybe. Um, he said when he was pitching it back to them that they actually, like, included fan art to show how much fans were interested and some of these petitions, which... I don't know how Nick executives didn't see themselves because they were pretty obvious, but... I digress. So... Yeah... Um, that's the Jungle movie. Like, it's gonna. I'm so excited for it. I've been waiting all year. I've I've rewatched the show throughout this year just to prepare for it. I have a ton of merchandise of the show. It's gonna be great. I'm trying to think of anything else I want to add to this. I don't know. Um, 
Oh yeah, so if the Jungle movie does well, this could lead into a possible season 6. But I don't know if I even want a season 6, because like, this looks really good. But if they turn it into another TV show, it could have that like, modern Nickelodeon problem, where it doesn't, it's either not aired enough, or it's just moved to Nicktoons, or it just has, I don't know, a little bit of creative problems with the, with the network. I don't know. It kind of worries me, but if they bring it back, I'll be sure to watch it right away. So, what else? Actually, they could do some pretty interesting stuff with the Season 6. Like, okay, it's pretty obvious they're going to find the parents. Like, let's be honest. But, like, are they going to move back to the city with Arnold? Or is Arnold going to stay there? I know that was a, something that was discussed in the original movie's plan. But is that still relevant for this reproduced jungle movie that's that's the big key question i guess we're gonna find out tonight though so um yeah they could do some interesting stuff like introduce the moms um you know like arnold's grandparents on the mom's side that'd be pretty cool also one thing that makes me kind of worried is in the jungle movie there's definitely gonna be a moment with arnold and helga that's a for sure thing but it, the thing is, are they going to get together? Because if they do get together, won't that kind of ruin their whole dynamic in the show? Like, I think that's why they didn't keep Arnold and Helga as a thing from the original movie. Because that would ruin the dynamic of the show. And just her character and everything. But one thing that would be kind of cool is if, like, they started dating, but then, like... You know, Arnold's just not... Arnold's not super smart when it comes to romantic stuff. I mean, he, he liked Ruth and Lila, but... You know what I mean? Like, not to the extent of Helga. And if they dated, I don't think he would be super, like, into it. Like Helga would be. But, I don't know. That's that's for way later. Right now, let's just focus on the Jungle movie. Celebrate it. And watch it tonight at... Well, for me, it's 6, but it's like 7 Eastern time. It's kind of early, honestly, for, like stuff, like, stuff like that. I would imagine it'd be, like, 7 to 9. But whatever. Alright, so I want to thank you guys for watching, and... Oh my gosh. The Jungle Movie is tonight, guys. It's insane. I hope, hope to see you guys watching. Alright, talk to you later. Bye.